flares and the crows of birds will peck and people will screech after that night my eyes see bleach it was quite a sigh looking from the bar it was said that the accident was just self-harm nope Later there was quite the crowd, the coyotes and the foxes who were very loud, the coyotes stepped out onto the dance floor, they evidently were not very poor, those damn coyotes were just too quick, and watching them had made me sick, I soon realized they had me beat, and they stole stolen shoes right off our feet, yup.
So like, there was this guy, right? He was not a small dude. One could say he was a pretty big guy. And he was wandering through the desert. And I was like, why the fuck would you go to Arizona? There's nothing but heat, pain, and meth out there. But apparently, I was wrong. There's one more thing out there in Arizona. There was a snake. Just one. Nobody really knows where the rest of them went. But it just so happens that if you visit some Arizonian desert in the middle of nowhere on the third Tuesday of the month at an interval of every 56 years, plus or minus four years, then you might be able to find that snake. And that's exactly what our friend Big Guy did. find a snake. In this snake hunt, he did partake. Big guy wandered out to the hills. His quest to find the snake was not just for thrill. He wasn't very agile, our friend Big Guy. He was as strong as a bow and as tall as the sky. As a sand burned his toes. Dusty air blew up his nose. He ventured forth and did not stop, even when he encountered some sizable slop. A ginormous man, a legendary snake. As they commence their battle, the earth will quake, the damned will rise from the darkest of depths. Who will survive? Who will claim success? Through the brush and past the ridge, snake goes to cross a narrow bridge. Like our friend Big Guy, this snake is large too. The snake looks up into the sky, searching for a feud. A man of large stature, the snake is scanning for, because he knows he's this guy's target, and to each other they run toward. man, a legendary snake. As they commence their battle, the earth will quake, the damned will rise from the darkest of depths. Who will survive? Who will claim success? The sun sets, all is at rest, except of course, the snake head is southwest. A guy found a box filled with a chocolate tree. A dark brown sludge melted in the Arizona heat, begrudgingly consuming some of the sizable slop. This big guy could not be stopped. The big guy headed northeast to meet the large snake. He found a village of the deceased. It seemed to be the aftermath of a feast. 
He had also passed by a large cucumber that could for some reason count to four. The fireflies woke from their slumber. The empty box of chocolates lay still on the floor. The titans clashed. Volcanoes erupted. Could be felt around the earth. One side would be crushed. The snake took blows. Big guy was almost eaten. Big guy was just too big. The rattlesnake had been smitten.
once I did it, I did worry. Here, I'll tell you my long story. Bad things happened, you should know. The problems, they did grow and grow. They smacked me in both my knees, but I'll tell you my tragedy. Three, two, working! Failing! Working! Failing! I did poor, I am sad, they hate me. It was bad. Smelly! How? Deli! Well! I am small, I am sad, I was fired, it is bad. Whistle, whistle, through the thistle. Whistle, whistle, through the thistle. I got no time for the ride, but heat the line. Do no crime. Whistle, whistle, through the muscle. Whistle, whistle, through the muscle. I it all died, it's all mine. The fork has times in the pine. Creeping, crawling, weeping, falling. I am short, I am sad, I can't flirt, it is bad, no one likes me, someone help me, I am stuck, I am sad, in these woods, it is bad, whistle, whistle, do the whistle, 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 do the whistle, I got no time for the rhyme, I eat the lie, do no crime, whistle, whistle, do the whistle, 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 do the whistle, on and I'll die. Snake, I am sad, I am loud, it is bad. The slither, wither, come, wither. Help me, please, they did this. My employers have ruined me. Whistle, whistle, through the thistle. Whistle, whistle, through the thistle. I am a snake, I cannot bake. Every day I wake, I'm near the lake. Whistle, whistle, through the whistle. Whistle, whistle, through the whistle. I'm in much pain, except when it rains. That's why no bread at me with a train. that I would buy a steak, but then I saw the price. This steak was $50. $50? That's absurd. I decided to change my dinner plans for the night, but I was greatly disappointed. I really wish I had that steak. The steak is expensive, and I don't have the money. I really want that steak. I really wish I had that steak. It's too much money, and I'm almost broke. I really want that steak. I really wish I had that steak. After I saw the steak prices at the store, I decided that I would go to a restaurant instead. At first there were no problems, and I ordered the biggest, juiciest steak. When I had finished my meal, the waiter walked over to me to give me the check. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the price. 300 smackaroonies, that's absurd! 
Hey! The steak is expensive and I don't have the money. I shouldn't have gotten that steak. I wish I didn't get that steak. I'm now in debt because of my bill. I shouldn't have gotten steak. I really wish I didn't get that steak. Since I've lost all my money, I've been forced to live on the streets. It's quite the shame, really, but at the same time, it's awfully fun. On most days, the restaurants serve steak, so I climb into their dumpsters for the leftovers. The stakes are high, but it's worth the risk. No foodborne illness will keep me from my steak!
staring back. I've known her for years. We were good friends. I loved that candy cane once, but now it's covered in lint. Lovers Reunion, Kevin came and I. I made a song that goes, when I look up into the sky. Because you look like everything. All the time we do. We're gonna run in vain. Run, run, run! Daddy Dates. It was 1995. A 
crisis ensuing. Plastic insurance. Business was moving. It can't go on. To ensure our survival. The insurance of plastic was a dreadful rival. It is still obeying. Trusting the hero, they follow him away. The CEO, he's the one who will surely save the day. As they approach the quarters of plastic, something is different, something quite drastic. Their legendary hero, has gone to ground zero. The plastic man reveals his plan. He was never on their side. He caused all their stress. The CEO is the plastic man. He's the reason for this mess. A magnificent brawl, reaching far and wide. Plastic versus humans. Millions had died. Yet the plastic man, he was too strong. 
humanity was done. It had all gone wrong. Soon the Plastic Man will take his crown. Rule the world once and for all. Across the stars he will continue. His plastic insurance brainwashing sprawl.